worked very closely with the last two commissioners of agriculture, Commissioner Smith and Commissioner Farmer, on handling their legislation in the General Assembly, especially on the eight budget cuts. That's a serious issue uh, that's broke my heart uh, from being a state legislator the last 10 years, and I'm the only candidate with legislative experience. The legislature appropriates the money. One thing I will do as Ag Commissioners, I will sit, go to each state representative and state senator's office, sit down, explain to them the importance of every program in the Department of Agriculture, and plead the case why you cannot cut this budget. In fact, we may need more, more of the uh, funding in certain areas. And, and that's also been an issue with the man that you're trying to secede, which is uh, Richie Farmer, the current commissioner of agriculture. There's been stories that have come out just in the last couple months about, uh, you know, it was 27 cars that the <clears throat> Department of Agriculture bought for more than $600,000 over the last couple months. Is, is, how big of a problem is that for the agriculture department? And was that a mistake? I, I have a, I don't think it was, it was a mistake. The Ag Department has a lot of employees. There, there are 200, almost 300 employees in the Kentucky Department of Agriculture. That department is responsible for all the fuel testing in Kentucky. That, uh, they're also responsible for weights and measurements to make sure when you go to Walmart or Kroger, if you buy two pounds of bananas, that you're getting two pounds of, of bananas. So they have to have vehicles to travel around the state. I haven't um, studied that particular part of the budget yet, but, but I will. What about that 30, I believe it was $35,000 Chevy Suburban that he approved for, for, for himself? As If you're elected agriculture commissioner, would you want to have a $35,000 state, state vehicle? Probably not. I, I've always driven my own vehicle, and, but, you know, I, I don't really know enough about the vehicles to, to comment. But, again, you have a $29 million budget and you have almost 300 employees, so there are going to be items in there that I'm sure everyone will uh, not be happy about, but at the end of the day, you have to have vehicles for the workers to travel around to do their consumer protection jobs. And we'll look at the vehicles, and if there are too many vehicles, then uh, we'll scale the vehicles back. And, you know, if, if the commissioner hadn't been running for lieutenant governor, nobody probably would have ever known about about the trip or even raised any, you know, hint of uh, impropriety about the trip. And I don't know the extent. I know that Richie was, uh, that Commissioner Farmer was the past president of that association where he went to that conference. And I'm sure that serving as a past president, he probably had a leadership responsibilities there and, and they may have you know I don't know the details I haven't talked to Commissioner Farmer about it I don't know if they had spent some days meeting with people in in that country to talk about expanding markets I, I don't know the exact circumstances 